again guys Shattered skies, of course. I was just a child when the stars fell from the skies. But I remember how they built a cannon to destroy them. And in turn how that cannon brought war upon us. War was an abstract idea, nothing more than a show on TV. As a child, I only saw it as something that happened in some faraway land. Until that final day of summer. One day while on my way to school, I looked up in the skies. A sound like distant thunder. In the blue skies far above me, contrails drew dizzying circles around in a crazy waltz. A battle in the beautiful skies far away. I could not tear my gaze away from them. A deafening roar. As if to graze the hills and streak past me. The fighters played the cat or the mouse in turn as they climbed swiftly into the sky. One fleeing plane fell out of the skies, spiraling and spewing orange flames to crash by the cape. same cape where my family lived. Now they only live in my memories of days past. The victor circled around to confirm the kill. And on his craft, there was a large number 13 emblazoned in yellow. I will never forget this. The Allies retreated across the ocean before the onslaught of the enemy. Our little town in the heart of the mainland fell into deep isolation. after the planet fall of the Ulysses 1994 XF-04 asteroids. Stonehenge, the erosion weapon of mass destruction, was originally built to shoot down asteroids. Upon discovering its potential as an anti-aircraft weapon, the erosions ruled the skies over the mainland. The ISAF's attempts to destroy Stonehenge through airstrikes failed. As a result, strategic positions on the mainland were lost. This in turn forced ISAF to evacuate from the east coast to North Point. ISAF GHQ is regrouping its remaining combat forces at North Point. However, the Erujans control most parts of the mainland, and they have forward deployed bombers to Wrigley Air Base, a former ISAF facility. This bomber force will attempt to deal a lethal blow to the ISAF at North Point from this strategic position. September 19, 1405. ISAF, independent Allied Your orders for deployment, effective immediately. Enemy agents destroyed our early morning radar network, allowing several bear bombers to penetrate our airspace. In 15 minutes, we expect this bomb formation to strike Allen Ford Air Base and then move on to targets at North Point. Our air defense forces are extremely weak at this point in time. Hence, our GHQ is a sitting duck. It is mission critical that you destroy the bombers and neutralize the threat before they get past Newfield Island. 
Remember, you are the first line of defense for North Point, and the fate of ISAF lies in your hands. You understand? Alright, so what have we got here? Six bombers and four us. Could be easy picking. Bombers. Whose kill was that? Make sure to thank him. That's a roundup. Let's go on home. Thanks to your efforts, the enemy bomber strike was averted. However, our victory will be meaningless should you fail the next mission. Yeah. I'm calling. GHQ is located beneath a landfill on the coast of their capital, Farhanti. Bring it under control to end this war once and for all. <laughs> Our troops will enter via the Silver Bridge to the southeast, and the flooded city to the south. 
You must attack all enemy forces and support our troops. Enemy tank forces are also closing in from the north. Destroy Johnson Memorial Bridge to stop them from joining forces from the enemy GHQ. We know that Megalith is being developed as we speak. The enemy must be prevented from using it as their last ditch effort. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of targets. Woo! Final mission crap. We'll see.
Confirm landing check. You are cleared to land. Copy that. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. You're on the money. Slow down. Speed's too high. Nicely done, Mobius One. Go and prepare for your next sortie. Mobius One, you are cleared for takeoff. I'll be back. Altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission, Mobius One.
aircraft remaining on radar. Tango 8 here. We're in control of the erosion headquarters. Mobius 1 shot down the five aircraft that appeared. Air superiority is ours. You made it through alive, Mobius 1. On September 19, the Arugia accepted uh, contact terms for surrender. That, that the victory weird. came at an extremely high weird. cost of casualties. Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the stress of combat. My job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand hey. how his skills hey. evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, he used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff. By the time he landed back at the base, it was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight suit was made to my exact specifications. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But Mihai remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly, so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Arusha's capital, Farbante, is beginning. Finally, this is about the time. Of our work. We need to capture the Erusian Forces General Headquarters in the south of Farbante and end this war. The plan is for ground troops to attack Farbante from both the east and north, and a task fleet will attack from the southwest. We will secure air superiority over the capital while providing air support Operation Giant Stop. and in the water as required. By all accounts, we expect this to be an intense, full-scale battle across land, sea, and air. Should you need to replenish your ammunition, or make necessary repairs to your craft, a return line has been set up in the north. During this operation, we will also be tasked with having to destroy the communication satellites that Maruja has. If we take down the information communication system, have comms satellites. 
it should plunge into chaos. Once we believe God is now work out perfectly. Making it easier for us to end the war. However, that can't happen until after the capital falls. So you guys are the stars of this battle. Eruja will fight like a tiger, but we cannot lose. We must seize the capital and end this war. Yeah. September 19th, huh? How fitting. Then they lose her cattle. Or it once 14 years ago. <laughs> History repeating itself and blah blah blah, right? OFS the Tarmigan. OFS Shoebill. OFS Hornbill. OFS Dork. OFS Feasantly. OFS Feasant. OFS Egret, OFS Cream. Quadrants. No. Five, six, seven ocean squadrons and a seven ship fleet. They don't stand a chance of <laughs> time. Let's see. Go. Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. Our troops have engaged at Frabati Reconstruction Park, Silver Bridge, and the submerged area. All right. We need you to help our boys in those three locations. This will end the war. It's time. Commence the operation. Our friends are waiting.
Boom! Ah, oh, man. Strider 1, the men below you are to secure the silver bridge. But they can't break enemy lines. We have aircraft in addition to you. But our numbers are less than ideal. I'll get this boy. Be grateful, guys. Coming in, coming. Man. Fox 2. Roger. Fox 2 is in order. You'll get picked up in the way. 
Product. Yeah, thanks. Sorry guys, but I don't know. Target acquired. Okay. Where did these guys come from? My job just got that much harder. How? It's the answer. Okay, target lock. There is all your strider. You back at one squadron at the silver bridge. Ah, no. Aerial crazy or anyway. Don't let them through! Ships 
Support for organized combat. Your air support considerably weakened organized resistance from the original. Okay. Operation Good. nearly complete. Just need to see it through. Understood. Nicole. Understood. All right. Understood. Oh. Understood. Understood. Uh oh. Watch for three. I'm making their way to HQ now. Strider one, locked on target. Uh. Must be a nade. One. Two minutes remaining. Woo! You did really well out there. This is sure to bring an end to the war. You'll be heroes. Don't know what medals they've got for you. Regarding the base. Be bad. Strider one moving in a land. Too fast. Lower airspeed. Lower your nose. You're too high. You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Refilled. Ready to go. One, this is control tower. The runway is clear. Moving in now. Seriously? Monster is toying with us out there. We've got to do something. 
Whoa. Did that? Alright. Oh man. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah. Fire wow, champion. Yeah, but where are the others? One ass core down. Ah, uh, not even. We're not even done with the ass core. Yeah. Oh, he can't be serious. Oh no. Shit. Cyclops 1 is down. Cyclops Wise Man. It's checked already, Wise Man. I'm sorry, I'm killed. Wise Man. Stay strong. We're not done here. Cyclops 2, you've got the lead. Wise Man. Shit. Negative Cyclops 2, you're in the lead. I can't do it. Trigger should take command. 
take a man. I already have. What? Yeah. Damn. Now go finish the job. Here's the next trigger. Shoot it down, trigger. You can do it. In fact, 
What? My radar suddenly turned off. What is it? Respond. My data won't update. My HUD is crashing out. Oh no. I've lost radar contact. What's up? Huh? Oh, those. Look at the sky. Towards the sun. What is that? A star? No. Maybe an explosion? Whoa. -ho -ho. Real-time connection with Mission Command. It's not just Mission Command. I'm not getting any response from outside our LOS. Brabanti's now under OCN control. The operation was a success. We didn't get the orders to shoot come after the operational success. We'll guide you to the scheduled airport. All aircraft, leave this airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. Count, we all feel the same way. Shit. <sighs> so Wiseman died for nothing. Yeah, dude. I mean, what the hell is Pat? <sighs> I mean, this he's is a peacekeeping force forward base near Arusian territory. Other Allied aircraft have probably been forced to make emergency landings at other airfields. We don't know much. The mission to capture the capital is nearly complete. But we unfortunately have no intel. The enemy communication satellites are down, and we have confirmed the deaths of several Erusian leaders. But our enemy was smart. They had a similar plan. Our own communication systems were destroyed at approximately the same time. Our own? We have no idea when or if they'll come back online. Stand by for further details. Hmm. <sighs> well... It's a victory for sure, but it just feels hollow since we lost one of our leaders and uh, and we're blocked out. Let's just rest. Stupid son of a. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government. Whoa, so you're telling me that the, world the entire world satellite system is pretty much blackout? Offline? The whole world? All that remained was chaos. Whoa. Confusion. Yeah. This war really taking Government its and toll. civilian broadcasts and transmissions were cut off. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. 
It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. Masa is Marfa? She's not Marfa. much older than the girls, but she has a way about her. And I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. 